Hello everyone and to everyone hello. We're gonna continue the Yoshi's Island playthrough 100%. So this is gonna be episode level 2, 5, and 2, 6. So let's get in there. I believe this one's a little bit of a troublesome level for me. Oh yes. Okay, uh, the thing about the Super Nintendo version that I had is sometimes it would have trouble spawning certain things. And when it did, it made it impossible to get 100%. Because sometimes there's a shy guy that's supposed to pop out. And you'll get just past that trigger point that makes him pop out. And he doesn't come back. So if you get past that trigger point, which is possible to happen, we may not get 100%. I mean, I'll try my hardest. I just, I usually tend to run out there just because it happens so often. But, um, it should be fun. Should be fun. Whatever, I'll just take that. So, okay, so the thing is, one of Yoshi's. <gasps> Whoa, barely. One of Yoshi's most reliable moves, the ground pound, cannot be used because if he uses the ground pound, you go right through. So, you need to make sure if you're trying to swallow something that there's ground. Because sometimes it does make you go down. I mean, for the most part, it does well. And there you go. See, I got hit. And I was trying to, what was I trying to do? Swallow something? And because I was, nope. I guess I just pressed down. I just pressed down, but. Since I was pressing down. Oh, I was pressing down to duck it. But I got hit. And um, when that happens, you're going to do a ground pound. So this episode is not lying when it says look out for the Keto or Lakitu. One more please okay so yeah um thank you sir if you step on him you actually get the cloud and getting the cloud is better because that way you don't have to worry about um him coming back so quickly. Actually, I might have that confused with. I might have that confused with Super Mario World. No! <laughs> I want to save him. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so this gives you. That gives you that platform so you can ground pound that item. And um, there's a, another one around here. I think it's here. This is the one I'm meant to break. Okay. Ah, okay. Well, it doesn't matter. I have 30 coins. But that's the one I'm meant to break. I didn't know I was going to be hitting the other thing. Oh, man. See, it's a little tricky if you don't know what oh my goodness okay so I want to get up there just because it's a lot faster than So apparently whoever designed this level was like people are gonna be having a lot of trouble because there's a lot of star a lot of star clouds in this level, so I guess they're expecting people to take a lot of hits. So the choo choo train. Once again when I played this I was a lot younger. 
So every time I will use the Choo Choo Train, I'll get excited because, <laughs> first of all, who doesn't love a Choo Choo Train? And second of all, who doesn't love a Choo Choo Train with cookies? To me, the wheels always look like little cookies, like chocolate chip cookies. Yeah. I was a fat kid. No. Oh, just missed it. Okay, so I don't know where if there's red coins. I want to say there shouldn't be, but it's possible. So I'm just going to go ahead. But look, look at those. Those are cookies, man. Those are chocolate chip cookies. Everybody loves chocolate chip cookies. Except people who don't love chocolate chip cookies. Oh. So there's little shy guys that are drawn onto, they're graffiti onto the walls and they can do you damage. Like those two coming at me. Ah, come at me, bro. So let's get out of here. Oh, there's a flower. That is a flower for sure. I think that might be the only thing. Have I picked up a red coin here? But yeah, that's it. Got everything. But look at the cookies. Those are cookie tire tires right there. Four chocolate chips on each one. By the way, I'm Purple Yoshi, which is actually my favorite color. I enjoy me a Purple Yoshi. No! Oh, great. So now I gotta bring it around town. Da, 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 da. So yeah, the middle ring gives you everything that you had before. Um, except your eggs, I think. So Now, there's a cloud here, and you don't want to push this stump all the way down because you're going to need it. So you hit that switch, and if you don't have that stump there, you can't make that jump. So. I don't remember what's going on here. Ah! Oh. I'm safe. Oh! Yeah! So this is one of those things where like the FX chip on the Super Nintendo just makes this look so much nicer. Um, just because there's a glow on the walls and this actually has like a wooden it looks more like a piece of wood than just, you know, a brown block. And it kind of has some shine to it, like a glossy wood. So it looks so much better on the Super Nintendo version. And I'm going to try to do something. I think you can do it on this version too, but you can ground pound. And when I was younger, it just looks so much better. Um, but yeah, basically you ground pound like on one of these edges and just... And that looks so great on the Super Nintendo version. So if anybody has a Super Nintendo version, come on camera, I'm right here, thank you. If anybody has a Super Nintendo version and they can do that, enjoy it. It's amazing. So what you guys just saw that there was a shy guy that came in through the right there and he was one of those trigger shy guys that only pop out when oops there's another one there's another one see so it's just oh my goodness it's like if you're like doing something else and you don't know, those shy guys are gonna pop out. You're kind of defenseless. I mean, there's nothing you can really do about it. 
Um, I want to say there's one more. There's a bandit hiding behind that, so if you run through it, and it's horrible when you do, um, it just sucks. Especially when it's like the last thing you need to do. Oh, yes. No! Oh my goodness. Oh, please be. Is this all I need? What? I need another flower. Oh, there it is. Okay, now I need one more star coin to get 100% on this one. Can I go in there? No. Nope. <gasps> yes. Now run, Forest, run. All right, if I can make it all the way. Oh. Ah. Uh. Life. Run, Forest, run. Jump over the bandit. Okay, so yeah, that would be really annoying if I hit the bandit because I forgot. And it's just like the last thing you need to do is not run into the bandit. But like at that point, I would have popped all the clouds. There's no way to get stars at that point. And then I would have hit the bandit. I would have had to replay that whole level just to get two or three stars. Excuse me if you heard that. I don't know what it was, like a burp slash something else. Uh, <laughs> I really want the stars, and like just right now, they really came in handy. So, 2 6, which will be the last episode for the day. We're at 12 minutes. Oh my goodness. Maybe I should just make videos of 100% in it, because. 13 minute video isn't too bad. Just sit down and enjoy it. Something to watch while you're microwaving something. I don't know. Pouring your cereal in the morning. I don't know. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, can't do anything there. Whoa. <laughs> Booyah! Okay, sometimes I do this on my first shot, and sometimes it takes me forever. That time it was my first shot. Perfect. love the music on this game though. Okay, so this is gonna be the door we're supposed to go through. But if you go down a little lower, there's some red coins and a key that you will need later on. I want to say there's nothing here, but let's just be sure. Dun, 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 And we move on to the next part. I think there's a cave. Yes. A foggy cave. Oh, I just missed how it looked on the Super Nintendo. I'm sorry. I just really love the Super Nintendo. So that's just a random item and a random door. And if you miss it, you miss a pretty big part of it. Four red coins and a flower. And I think the first time I played this on the Game Boy Advance, I forgot about that. And I was just like looking everywhere and I could have sworn it was like in the beginning somewhere. Whoa, I was just looking. Whoa! 
I like how Mario ducks his head too, like he knows what's going on, like what's up? Mario Whoa, how dare you? Sometimes I try to clear as many of the enemies as I possibly can. Just so I don't come back and like... Oh my goodness. I got it. But it wasn't anything. So there's a little bit of a hint to let you know, hey. Throw something up there. I think this takes you to the... Yeah. So when I was jumping up, I missed three, I think they're red coins. Ooh, this is fun. Watermelon contest. Watermelon seed spinning contest. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, he got fire. He did not want to get hit by fire. No, I don't want that. I want f I want the stars. Oops. Wait, can I play again? Does it let you play again? Back in my day, I believe they had... Uh oh. I think back in the Super Nintendo version. I don't know how I hit him, because technically he was behind the wall. Go ahead, go get that one. Whoa! Wow. I don't know, did I get two? Did I get two? Does that count as two? Let's figure it out. Start button! Oh wow, you can just keep playing it over and over again. Okay, well, let's not spam that. Alright. So... Oh my goodness, I forgot the middle ring. And that's all the red coins, so I just need a flower. I believe that's on the outside, so I think I'm done in here. Um, I want to say my memory is pretty good. So, let's get out of here. Let's try not to get hit by those guys. Oh, my memory is pretty good. <laughs> so, let's head out. So, since I hit the middle ring and that door has an X on it, I can't go back out. So it's basically, you either have everything behind that door or you don't. There's no going back. So the only way to get 100% if you miss something is just to play the level all over again. Do -do, do -do. When I was younger, this was just like, I don't know, it just seemed like a, the background just seemed like a hot Fresno day, and that's all I knew, it was just hot Fresno days. I know it was nothing impressive, even back then it wasn't anything impressive. Wait, I got the last, yes I did. So I'm going to ground pound just because I don't want this thing shooting stuff at me. And that's it. That should do it for this episode. Oh, I get the bonus. When I don't want the bonus, I get him. And there you go, Death Lord. 600 points for 600 points. I'm trying to 100% this one for you, man. Scratch and match. Get one ups. Okay, let's go. We got lucky last time. We'll just do. Okay. Yeah. There's no way of knowing. This is just lucky. 
Yeah, I might start adding out these bonus levels unless it's new because it's not really, it takes up time and it's not really interesting. So um, that will do it for this episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. Um, if you guys have any comments, um, anything I missed, or if you guys know what this switch is for on this level, the Gusties one, let me know. Um, I think it's just for the coins, but I could be wrong. There could be like something hidden. But uh, we'll do Laka 2 and we'll do another castle in the next video. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, I'm J-Man Stunna, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.